Use this as a reflection, just like this kind of thing. See if this works. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day today. If you're not having a great day, then just know that this fire back here is not keeping me warm at all. As a filmmaker and photographer, you do what you can to make the backgrounds more interesting. Like this is without it. That's without it. This is with it. How much better is it? Like, it's just a simple tip for you. Anyway, I wanna go out to a car show. I don't care about cars that much, but what I do care about is photography. We're gonna go there and we're gonna take some cool photos of some cool cars, and that's pretty much what I wanna do today. So, let's go. We make out for the thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. Don't stop now, never let the sand. I genuinely can't believe that it's almost Christmas yet. Have you guys done your Christmas shopping? God no. In Melbourne, obviously vlogging is very different, but here in California, it's actually massive, so I don't even feel weird talking to a camera in public. Even though you are a massive weirdo. Yeah, Who's even that though- weirdo with the camera? <laughs> Got a feeling that I'm just gonna be super motivated after like looking at all these cars today. This is insane. What is this thing? How much does it cost? Two million. Two million? Oh. All right, I'll be back in like never. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a minor, actually no, it's not really a minor issue, it's actually a big issue. There's no way that I'm going to be able to take photos here because I don't even know why I didn't think of this in the first place. It's a bloody convention, of course there's heaps of people here trying to take photos of these cool ass cars. I'm not able to do it simply because there's like 100,000 people here or something, I don't know. Like, so I don't think we're going to get photos. I think that it's actually not going to happen today. What do you reckon Will, what should we do? I want to go eat. Alright, we'll go eat and then we'll figure it out. So I just got back, we just went out for dinner just before and I just found the most perfect location, literally perfect for car photography and I was so disappointed that I didn't have my camera with me. It's like half an hour away from here. I really want to get this photo. I can't do it tomorrow night because my flight's tomorrow night and it has to be at night time because the specific location that we're going to, it has a bunch of lights and the lights obviously don't light up during the day. Even if they did light up during the day, like they wouldn't have any effect at all. Tonight's the night or else I have to wait until I come back to America next. I have no idea when that is. Point is, I want to take photos of this McLaren. Is it okay if we use the McLaren? No. this for a location. It does have a fair few cars that do come through. Have to like watch the people coming through because I want this car to be right in the center of the road. Having it in the center of the road, obviously people can't get past. So I'm gonna have to do this really quickly. If I can get it done really quickly, we can get some quick shots, then I'll be happy. The only thing is I'm here by myself at the moment. So I have no one to record B-roll of me, except there is a valet guy over there. I don't know whether I should just ask him to shoot B-roll for me. I reckon that'll be funny. I'm gonna go ask him. Hey, excuse me, man. Do you reckon you could shoot some B-roll for me? Yeah, definitely. Do you, do you know what B-roll is? No, not at all. But do you, can you do it anyway? Yeah, of course. All right, nice. <laughs> Hopefully no one comes. I'm sure we'll be fine. Give it maybe a minute to do it. Ah, uh, there's a car there. Fire it up. Oh. oh, you're joking. needs to be on a bit more of an angle, it shouldn't be straight. I think that I'm gonna reverse it up really quickly and I'm just gonna like, I reckon 45 degree angle will look better. Does 
is actually a lot more stressful than I thought. There's actually way more people than I thought that were actually coming. There's another person coming now. They're like reversing out and like going out the other way. I feel really bad, but got to do anything to get the shot. Oh, that's way nicer. Heaps nicer. Oh my God. This is sick. This is actually so cool. Gonna give my phone a go, use this as a reflection, just like this kind of thing. See if this works. I think we got the shot. Yes! Alright, we're good. I love you, buddy. I love you too. Thanks for that, guys. to be home. Car photography is probably like the last thing that I would ever do on this YouTube channel simply because like as I said before I'm not into cars. What I do care about is the way that these cars are put together like a lot of them are just so beautiful they're just like works of art. When it comes down to doing photography as well just before I get into it your subject does not have to be this like amazing artwork whether it be a car or a person or whatever you're taking photos of. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It's about how you actually shoot the photo and like what you do with the photo, the angles that you use and like the lighting you use and everything like that. That's all it comes down to. It doesn't have to be perfect. That said, obviously I am lucky that dad has this McLaren, this work of art that I can use to my advantage to take photos of. So that's pretty much what I did. The first photo that I took was with the doors out like this. I wasn't happy with this photo because it wasn't symmetrical at all and like the tires were kind of like tilted out in a weird way and it was just yeah I didn't like that photo I wasn't really happy with it but then the second photo I learned two things well the first thing I already kind of knew which was cars are pretty much just a big reflection that's pretty much all it is but the thing is with the McLaren because it has a matte wrap on it it the reflection is kind of like it's not the same reflection as a normal car would be you know what I mean the main reflections were on the windscreen but then there was also still reflections on the car itself just not as um, glossy kind of thing but the second thing that I realized was the fact that like having the car on a 45 degree angle, how I position the car affected the way that the photo turned out drastically. Like compare this to the first photo. The way that it's actually positioned, the perspective and everything like that is what made this photo so much better. So having it on that 45 degree angle and like turning the wheels outwards, it really kind of adds to like an aggressive kind of feel to the photo. So I really like that. But then the third photo, I was, I was really damn happy with this. First idea that I had was I wanted to create a reflection with water. So I was trying to find some water around, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I was like, okay, I don't have water. What else can I use to create a reflection? So what I did was, is I just pretty much put my phone up to the lens. It created a really nice reflection with the bokeh in the background and using that 55 mil, opening up the aperture to 1.8. It really isolates the subject being the car. So that's really sharp and really in focus. Then you got the nice bokeh of the fairy lights and stuff in the background really blurred out and then that's reflected in the reflection so it creates this really nice symmetry and like lineage coming towards the car and I thought that that was sick. Like I'm super happy with this photo. You know, it's just like one of those moments where like, you know, I'm just like, I'm really proud of myself. Like it's the very first time I've done this kind of photography and a lot of the times when I'm doing photography like for the first time, different kinds, like it'll turn out really crap. And that's fine, like because failing, like you know, I never look at failures as failures. I look at them as lessons and like how to kind of improve next time. But this time doing it, it's just like straight up, I was just really happy with it. So that's really good. And the fact that I did it all myself and shout out to the guy, shout out to that valet guy that like shot all the B-roll for me. That was, it was actually so cool for doing that. I think that I rate this shoot probably nearly a 10 out, not a 10 out of 10, I think a nine out of 10. 9 out of 10 for today. That was awesome. Question of the day. Actually, no, this isn't a question of the day. This is more of a like reading comments from the last video of the day. Cause like last video I said to you, what would we call our family? Like, you know those those families on YouTube? Like you had like the low gang and like the, the bro army and stuff like that. I'm not saying that I would do this, but I asked you, what you thought we should be called, and this is what you said. Considering the whole Hey Don thing, how about just calling your, fan, your fans Dons? 
Don's. <laughs> okay, so then you could start your videos with, hey Don's, no, no, nah, that's not, okay, that's, that is not happening. Hashtag pedo gang, get around, no. That's got 51 likes. No chance are we calling ourselves the pedo gang. <laughs> All right, just to give you some context, my last name's Pedersen, so I used to be called pedo. So that's where the whole pedo gang and pedo idea came from. What about hey gang? Hey gang. Oh! It's getting more and more cringe as I say it. I don't know whether it's just me or what you think. If you think that this is all cringe, then definitely leave it down in the comments. Hey Denian. Hey Denians. Hey Denny. You should call your subscribers the pedestrians, like pedestrians, but cooler. Okay, all right, let's see how this goes. Hey pedestrians. <laughs> definitely the photo bombers. What do y'all think of that? The photo bombers. Hey, what's going on, my photo bombers? What's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think your army should be called the haters. Oh, that's actually, that's interesting. It's like, we're the haters, but like in a good way. I love my haters. My haters are my motivators. So you guys can all be my motivators. <laughs> I don't think we're ever gonna have a name because I think that I'm just like, I, I, it cringes me out a bit too much. But anyway, if you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.